Hi Shirley. Oh, hi Jennifer. Hi Debbie. Hi Piggy Sue. Good evening everybody. Hoping you can hear me. Hope. Hoping you can hear me okay. I'm a little bit slow this evening, I have to say. I'm not with it. Hi Vaughn. Hope everybody's keeping safe and warm in this weather. Hi Sue. Hi Henriette. Hi Cora. Welcome everybody. Good evening. Hi Shirley. Hope you're all keeping warm and you haven't ventured out. Hi Sue. Can you see and hear everything okay? Have I got the angle okay? Shall I just tilt that a little bit? Just see if that works a little bit better. Happy Sunday. Hi Jan. No, we need to bring that back Tracy. Let's bring that back. I'm messing a bit now. Hi Lynn. Oh, how is everybody? Hi Linda. Are we all okay? Let me just move this a little. I'm messing with my phone a little bit. Hi Violet. Hi Debbie. Hope you're okay. Thanks for all your samples recently. Hi Sheila. Hope you're okay Piggy Sue. Can't make my mind up where I want my phone to be honest. Let's move it up there a bit. That's better. Oh, That was good timing. Just finished dinner. I'm saving my dinner, Jennifer, till afterwards. I've got chips on a Sunday because I couldn't be bothered to do anything else, I'm afraid. Can hear perfectly. Thanks very much, Sue. Hi, Diane. I'm just waiting for a few people to join. So I'm on a go slow tonight. Definitely need a boost of energy. Hi, Anne. Hope you're well. Oh, has everybody stayed indoors today? Can see and hear loud and clear disputes the rain on the Isle of Wight. <laughs> oh, you're in the Isle of Wight, are you, Nicola? Wow. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Emma. Hi, Ute. Oh, I'm shattered. Hi, Anne. Are you okay, Anne? Hi, Karen. Well, I think we've got a few on here now, so I'm going to do my usual wafflings. Hi, Janet. Just seen some posts from your workshop, Janet. Looks like you ventured out today. So that was brave. It's been blowing a gale here. Trees flying everywhere and everything. Hi, Pam. So everything is in focus. Wonderful. It's about the only thing that is in focus, Sheila, because I definitely am not. <laughs> Thankfully not flooded. That's a good thing, Lynn. Definitely a good thing. Yes, I'm hoping you're all warm. You're all safe. So the whole point of this live, hi, Hazel, is to show the new release to show some samples and the lovely Olga Heldvine will be following me after my live. She will be going live and showing her new release. Uh, I know some of you have seen me on her chanda, but sometimes some ladies don't, some ladies and gentlemen don't watch her chanda. So we thought this is a good way to show the new release and some new samples. So I hope you don't mind if I'm repeating myself to some ladies. I do apologize. Um, in good old Tracy fashion, we've got a little giveaway. Certainly have so windy here, I know it's really windy here. Um, so I've got a little giveaway just to say thank you for joining me. I, yes, there's a few damaged fences here as well. My next door neighbor's got a damaged fence, a tree fell down. So, but as long as everybody's safe, that's the main thing. Damage to fences and everything, doesn't matter as long as everybody's safe. Oh, hi, Becky. Thank you, Becky. You're always so supportive. First of all, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's messaged me after my show. I really appreciate your messages and all your emails and everything. Thank you so much. It's been an awful day. Perfect day for crafting. Exactly, Wendy. Perfect day for crafting. Although I'm a little lacking in energy today. I always need a good kick up the backside after I've done a few shows. Blah. Better this side of the country, but nearly blew away with a shopping trolley. Uh, uh, not a good, no, it's definitely not a good day for shopping here, Debbie, I must admit. Anyway, I've got a little giveaway. If you'd like to share the video, that's entirely up to you. It would be much appreciated, but it's not necessary. But it would be lovely if you did. Now, I haven't asked Abs, but when I finished the show on Thursday and I left the studio, I'd got a couple of stamps 
I can't even ask Gabs because he's not here. <laughs> Hi, Diane. I've got a couple of stamps as a giveaway. So we've got the limited edition stamp. I've got one left from the studio. So I thought there's no point in me having it. I may as well give that away as a giveaway because there's one left. So I'm hoping the glare, you can actually see that. So we'll be giving away that. And we'll be giving away this one as well, which is also new. So we'll be giving away two A7 stamps. So that's part of the giveaway. I'll be giving away a piece of art, uh, which is was from one of my workshops. So I'll be giving away this piece of art and a little book as well. So some of you may be thinking that's a good giveaway. Some of you might be thinking, uh, no thanks, but I thought I'd give away some art just in case any ladies want inspiring. So there's some art there for a giveaway. Hi, Chris. Welcome, everybody. Um, terrible weather. I agree, Carol. Yes, Carol's. So we've got the art, we've got the two stamps, and I've got a kit here from one of my workshops. So I thought I'd give away this kit as well so that you can make your own piece. Maybe if you're inspired by the art I'm giving away. So there's a little embroidery hoop, a circular canvas, and a bigger circular canvas so that you can make your own art piece. So I thought that would be something, maybe if you're inspired by the art giveaway, then you can use that as well. So just a little thank you. And there's a little accordion book in here as well. And I've cut all the pieces. So there's a little kit there for you. So hopefully that will inspire you. So we'll just move these out of the way. Oh, so now we'll get away to, hi Fee. Welcome everybody. Thanks ever so much. So just, just to reiterate that Olga Heldvine will be following me after this live. So she'll be going live after me on her Facebook page with her new release as well. So hi Karen. I do like to do a little giveaway. It's just my way of giving something back personally. So it's just the way I am. It's just the way I, I work really. So we're going to start with the new release. Now, I know some of you have seen the new release, so I do apologise if I'm repeating myself. But I wanted to show the new release because we have to be fair to everybody. Some ladies and gentlemen don't watch her chandy. So I'm showing it here for those people. So I'm hoping I don't bore you. And if I don't waffle too long, then hopefully we'll do a little project as well, depending on time. I don't want to keep you too long. Hi, Chris. Hope you're well. Hope everybody's well. So this is my first A4 stamp that we showed recently on her chandy. And this is the A4 stamp. And I have to say, I've adored, loved using this. I really, you stayed in today, Ali, I don't blame you. And repeated the craft along again. Wow, that's fantastic. Yes, your second piece always does look different than your first piece, Ali. I agree. My piece looked totally different to my first piece as well. So what I'm hoping to do is show you some samples and show you the new release. So you can find out where all the new releases are available on the All and Create website. We've got a stockist list. So a list of all our stockists is available there. So what we've got here is I'm hoping that it will pick it up with the clear. If not, oh, thanks, Karen. So I'm hoping if it doesn't pick it up on the clear, it's just the clear I will put down just so you can see the size of the stamps. Sometimes it's it's better to see it in real life because they're quite big sizes. So that's the size of the butterfly and the size of the mushrooms, quite a big size. Oh, bless you, Anne. Thank you very much. Hi, Hazel. So that just gives you the idea of the size of the stamp. So I'll bring this in. I'll bring this in because you can see better on this. And the idea for my stamps is I love having backgrounds and I love it when they haven't got straight edges so that it's a bit sort of random so I do like the random edges just finished ironing oh no I hate ironing I really dislike ironing uh, and the butterfly as well again no straight edges all sort of and I do that on purpose because I like the distressed edges so that's my first day four hello I don't know how you pronounce your name is it huge huge I bet I'm pronouncing that completely wrong I do apologize so that's the a4 one then we'll move to the next a4 one I love this one and I haven't had chance to use it yet. Uh, so, oh yes, I didn't mention when the giveaway will be drawn. I'll probably draw the giveaway on Wednesday just to give a few days for everybody to watch the video and make it fair to everybody so that, you know, I can share and then I'll just pick a random winner for the giveaway. This is the next A4 one 
and I love this stamp. I cannot, I haven't had time to use this one mainly because I've had the shows, I've had demoing uh, for James, I've had lots on at the moment, so I'm hoping to use this one next, but I love this one. Let me just, I know it's on the plastic and it doesn't really help, but let me just put it on there. So you can see what a good size stamp this is. I'm watching with a cup of tea and two chocky biscuits. Oh, I feel hungry now, Chris. I really do feel hungry. Mwah. Let's move it along a bit. So I love the size of this stamp. I just think that would look lovely on book pages, sort of in backgrounds. You know, if you do that technique where you put coloured paint in the background and then you block it all out and then the petals are just all coloured. Oh, I love it. I love it just love this and I adore the the bottles on this one so this flower here matches perfectly from Tennessee wow hi Kathy welcome thanks for joining me what time is it in Tennessee I'm hopeless I'm hopeless so this flower here coordinates perfectly with this flower so they work together beautifully so I adore the stamp absolutely love it so we'll turn it over and again again upside down Tracy you can see that I just love these details here these lovely little text details and I can just imagine that either half on a page or fully on a page just would look gorgeous I can't wait to get using that one so 1 p.m wow the time difference is amazing had flood barriers up today but stopped raining just in time so the river at the top of our road went down again thank goodness for that Janet stay safe i love this flower set i just adore it i know i'm biased but you know when you're really pleased with the way something turns out you never know quite how it's going to turn out so i adore that a41 so that's the second a41 and then what i'm going to do is go to the a6 ones so i've got the a6 one here which came about because a couple of ladies and gentlemen messaged me and said that they couldn't do the doodly lines however much they tried they didn't quite look right so i'm just oh i'm glad you said that lisa it's going tomorrow morning lisa so it'll be with you well hopefully in two days uh hi olga i've mentioned to everybody olga that you're going live straight after me so i love the big petals as well kathy i love it hi lisa hope you're well hope you're healing well I needed to do a live because it's just just in case some people don't watch her chanda, it's not fair. So the idea of this one is that you can use these stamps. Let me see if I put it on there. And then you can bend these to create your own circular spotlights or you can create your own wreaths. And I love the sentiments. I love the sentiments. I dream of painting and paint and then I paint my dreams. I love that one. Create your own dreams and creativity takes courage. So I love those sentiments because sentiments are important to me as well. Hi Gina, did you miss the start? Uh, Gina, I'll just mention what the giveaway is a little bit later. We'll just get through the, the stamps so that I'm not waffling too much and then I'll show you what the giveaway is. If you'd like to share, that's wonderful. If not, that's wonderful too. No problem at all. So that's my first A6 one. I get confused with all the sizes. Hi Gemma, loved your artwork Gemma. So that's my first A6. And then we've got another A6. I do like my A6 stamps because I like, to, I like to work with different sizes. I don't know about you, but I like to work with different sizes for different projects. So this one is the A6. And I have been um, asked for um, a couple of stamp sets that have standard sayings on them. So this one has got um, birthday wishes, um, limited edition, art, so it's quite handy. I'm just trying to look now. Yes, and happiness. So I do like to have a couple of different uh, sayings in there. Um, and I love the size of the flowers. They're not too, they're not too small. And then the quirky birds, so that's quite nice. Hi Kelly, how are you? Um, and birdies, yes, we can't forget the birdies, Olga. We like the birdies. Tracy birdies but also you could use those with the big A4 stamps because then they'd be the perfect size to stand at the base of the flower 
with a large flower so that would be quite nice and I quite like having the open flowers how they're all open because then if you're into doing your backgrounds or you like your scrapbook papers you can then you know sort of add them to your pages and it will show through the open area hello Sarah welcome from pool hello thank you for watching so I love those open areas they make me happy I like the birdies as well <laughs> so that's the A6 stamps and then we've got two A5 stamps now I know some of you most of you've probably seen this A5 stamp because that was from the craft along which now seems like ages ago the craft along does and it was only the 19th of January can't believe it 19th of January and that now feels like months ago absolutely months ago ants yes we like ants Olga we love the ants so yes yeah, so this feels like ages ago so we'll just turn it over so you can see the size of the stamps and this cup is a really good size I've been practicing my doodly lines yay Christine <laughs> so you can see the size of the stamp the cup is a really good size um, and so are the other flowers to be honest this one would be quite nice in meadow type stamping you know if you like doing that meadow type stamping uh, yes need to use my teacup again and the ants I know I love the ants the ants I just adore the ants and we've got some lovely sentiments make today memorable nature and again you can use these little elements as well separately you, you know these little numbers and you've got a little heart here and I just love the flowers so they all work together and the idea is that the whole release works together I enjoy the tea bag technique on the craft along I love using tea bags Sue because it just brings a different texture to your design especially if you don't leave the tea bags in you know the actual tea leaves in like Joe did oh you had a little trouble getting on maybe it's the weather Stephen hope you're well uh, sky out and my wi-fi is on the way out too oh no louise as long as you're all safe that's the main thing nothing else is more important you can easily catch this later so that's the least of our worries you can catch this later as long as you're staying safe so that's my first a5 stamp and i have to say a5 stamps are slowly becoming one of my favorite sizes i love them <laughs> i did have the used tea bag ready what with the tea leaves in sue or without the tea leaves so that's the first A5 set and this is the second A5 set and again we've got oh thank you very much Val I really appreciate that thank you so it must be my age but it definitely takes it out of me I feel tired as I get you know with each decade that you age you get more and more tired or maybe that's just me I don't know but with each decade I get a little bit more tired so this is my other a5 stamp set and i really i genuinely loved using this on her chandy if i just turn this round let me just show you which is the best way that's it this flower stamp is really big yes with the tea leaves oh dear sue that was my fault though sue it was obviously lost in translation <laughs> hi james just back from birmingham Yay, I'm glad you arrived home safely in all this bad weather, James. Say hi to Emma for me. So this flower is a lovely size. I adore the size of it. And those petals are really open for those ladies that love your mixed media backgrounds. It's perfect for adding that painty techniques in there. I love that one. And in this, one of my favourite sentiments at the moment is, in art, there are no mistakes, only chop, only opportunities for creativity. And I still believe that. I believe there are no mistakes. I worry you, you're not getting enough relaxation. I do need to be a bit more relaxation time, Chris, I must admit. I need to find a balance. I do need to find a balance. Sat in front of my real fire. Oh, Claire, that sounds gorgeous feeling snug hope everyone else is keeping warm yes let's hope everybody's keeping warm so that stamp set also these doodly lines here on the stems coordinate with the other doodly set set that was done on purpose and so was this flower this flower is those doodly lines created so that it coordinates with that set and also the edge of this coordinates with the doodly set that i showed in the a6 set that was all planned on purpose so that they all work together beautifully 
so that's the A5 stamp set I'm trying not to keep you too long just so that maybe we can do a project or at least part of a project I don't want to keep you too long so what we've got now is our A7 sets and I love the size because some people think that when you've got an A7 set you haven't got much scope but trust me you have nice and warm under a blanket oh sounds lovely Becky sounds fab in this set I have to say I love these owls I ummed and awed about releasing them because not all stamp sets are released they don't all make the cut but I have to say I'm so pleased they made the cut because I have genuinely really enjoyed working with these I just love them I love the fact that they're not a pathetic little size they're a good size they're that size and they're a really good size for a project not just ATCs they're a really good size for cards canvases absolutely wonderful size so let's bring in the other owl so you can see them together let's bring in that owl and I love them I just love them hi Stephen see you at Stevenage oh yes so I just love the size of these owls and they both work, both work wonderfully together and Joe Rice made a lovely wreath with this little stamp set here it worked perfectly to it to woo yes or gin and tonic but Joe couldn't make a mind up I think we're sticking with gin and tonic <laughs> I love them Becky I just love the size of them I think they're fab I know as designers we're biased but we have to love what we do or else there's no point designing them that's what I think anyway and I adore them I just love them so we'll just turn them over so you can see the little details and that's my handwriting with the text the owl and the hoot just so you can see them I'm really pleased with how they turned out thanks for sharing Anne I really appreciate that I will just share the giveaway again so you can see it before I do my little project so that's the first two A7 sets then on to a next A7 set and I have to say these are getting loads of use these A7 sets I am using so much they're so valuable so they're so invaluable that I forgot you were doing this oh it doesn't matter Dawn you can catch it on rewind or not at all <laughs> whichever you prefer but these A7 sets these background ones I have to say I'm just using them over and over again so if I just show you the size I love I think it's that way there's bits of text in there bits of um, chicken wire I just love it I think we'll use this one today when we do a little project I love the owls Rachel I just think they're lovely and it's love to be honest and I genuinely mean this the best bit is not my artwork the best bit is seeing what you create with the artwork and what the design team do because you just think totally different to me and I adore the way you think I love watching you use them so this background let's have these three backgrounds together this is the next background in A7 and I love the open areas on this one because if you'd got text in the background the text in the background would show through these open areas if I turn that round you see these open areas here if you add some book pages in the background they would show through that open area and I love that really love them these are actually some of these stamps are new from the show because I haven't packed excuse me I haven't packed them up for abs although I'm giving two of them away so abs doesn't even know so I may get a slap but never mind I'm hoping he'll be he'll be kind to me so these are two and then we've got this one that was in the craft along and let me just show this one has been used hugely because you can't even see it because I've, I've used it that many times with inks paints and everything so hi Anne Anna sorry hi Anna hope you're well hi Kath good evening everybody hope you're all staying safe and warm and you're all well and there's not been too much damage so these are the three background stamps and I have to say these are going to be used over and over and over again so I just adore these and these are them stamps that will never be put down so if I turn them over so you can see them on the text like so 
these are ones that are going everywhere with me. It doesn't matter whether I'm doing a workshop, whether I'm demoing, whether I'm doing Hachandi. These backgrounds will always be with me. I love them. That craft along, this craft along mini stamp set, because these are A7 size. Just so you can see a comparison in size, that's a border stamp there. So then you can see the comparison in size. But trust me, they may be smaller in size, but they're big on impact. They really do. They're so useful. I love them. I hope you're well, Kath. Hi, Shelley. So I adore those. So we're now going to go to our board. We'll keep that one out because we're going to use that one. Yes, we are. So we'll just keep that one out. And then we're going to go to our border stamps. So this is the one from the Craft Along, the brush. And Anne Redfern asked me to design this. Now, as you all know, I'm not a fine artist. I don't uh, say that I'm ever a fine... Oh, I couldn't be a fine artist if I tried. What, I'm, what I am is a doodler. I doodle. And I just doodle in my quirky style and hope that you like them. And I just adore how this paintbrush came out. It took me about 20 attempts, trust me. But I love how it came out. And I'm going to be using this a lot. I just think this will be fantastic with the pen nibs. All the pencils from the previous release. I think it'll work beautifully with them. So, uh, Hooli here in Bournemouth. It's the same here, Chris, I have to admit. But I just love this paintbrush. I love the fact, again, that it's a bit faded out. So it's not perfect. I just love that kind of thing. And it's a really good size as well. If you look at my hand, the size of the paintbrush is fantastic. Hi, Carolyn. I just love the paintbrush. It's just, I love how it came out. I think it's fantastic. So I hope you all like that. Then we'll get to the other border stamp, which you saw on a chander, or you maybe didn't see on a chander because you weren't watching. Hi, Pam. Thanks, Pam. Um, and I just love this mushroom. I love how it turned out. Again, took me about 20 attempts to draw it. I know some of them look like simple drawings, but as I say, it takes me ages to get it right. Yes, it was Anne's suggestion. She fancied a paintbrush, but she wanted a good size one. The problem is somebody will give you a request, but if it doesn't turn out right, then there's no point publishing it or bringing it to a stamp form. It has to stamp right. So this is the mushroom. Obviously not my one I used on the show. This is the new one that was on the counter. So I thought I'd show the new one. Then you can see the detail. It's got tiny bits of text. It's got numbers. It's got leaves. I just love it. And it comes out exactly the way I've drawn it. That, and that's what I like best, Chris, is the open aspect. I like to have a lot of open aspects because a lot of you ladies do a lot of fantastic mixed media backgrounds. And that's why. Sorry, could you please tell me why they are called border stamps when it seems to they be used? Ah, because it's it, it's like a... Because it, it's thin. Because it's thin in... Um, it doesn't mean that it's just going to be used as a border like this, uh, Val. It's because it's in that long, thin format. So it reminds us of a border. And it could just be used as a border. Because on one of my demos, I just used it like that as part of an image. But we call them borders because they're not fat in shape. They're long and thin like a bookmark shape so we call them a border stamp but you could use them as a border as well going down but I use them as a focal image that's the only reason they're called that but it's just because of the format that's all simple we don't make it over complicated it's just that format that's all it is so you, it doesn't matter the year later Emmy you can catch my waffle on rewind if you like if you'd like to share the Facebook Live, that'd be lovely. If not, don't worry about it, no problem at all. Now, this, I adored using this on Hachandi. I absolutely loved using the pen nibs and mushrooms. Everybody needs nibs and mushrooms, don't they? Of course they do. There doesn't have to be any logic in why I design things. The reason I design things is for the pure love of what I do. And mainly because of what I like to see and what I want to use in designs. And I just have to hope that you like them as well. Uh, that's one of the worries. 
everybody always thinks it's really easy going on her chandy. It's so daunting and so stressful when you go on her chandy with your own release because you've got no idea how you, the customer, is going to, you know, accept that design. You know, what what you think about the designs. I never take for granted that you might like them, you might dislike them. Obviously, not all stamps are going to appeal to everybody. And that's why we do a variety. I just hope that you like them. Uh, and I had a fantastic response to her chander. And I have to say, I'm truly grateful. And I really don't take it for granted. And I appreciate every bit of support. So I said I wouldn't waffle. And I do it again, I waffle. What am I like? But this, I love. I love this stamp set. And working together with Olga is the best part. The, when, the way we design together, because I do all mine on paper or in notes. I don't profess to be any good with software. At my age, I cannot learn software packages. Well, some ladies can, but they're far better than me. Better than me. I have to do mine in a simple form and draw. Um, and it's just the way I am. And the lovely Olga helps me bring them to life because she can use software packages. But all this is my work, hand-drawn, with Olga helping me. So I really appreciate Olga's help. So this one, I adore. I adore the size. I adore the openness, the detail in the background. The fact that you've got these bits of text really make me happy. Just love it. Pencils not enclosed. I missed the comment then. Oh, bless you. Thank you, Vaughn. I think these will be great with the enclosed stamp. Oh, I need to I need to read your messages, Chris. I lost that one. The 18. Bless. Thanks, Anne. So I love using this one. It works so well. And then we've got just a couple more border stamps. Then I'll show you a few samples. How long have I been on? Just check, let me check the time. We're just checking, just checking the time. Oh, we're okay. I just don't want to keep you too long. <coughs> now this stamp set came about because of, well, both, let me get both these stamp sets in. Both these stamp sets came about through a conversation with Joe Rice. Now, you know that I adore my garden uh, I love my garden. I spend time in the garden looking at flowers. And as I've said to you, I do it in my doodly fashion, just the way I like to do them, because that's what appeals to me. I love a quirky edge, something that's slightly different, not the norm. And that's what I love. So it, that's just me. Now, these came about through a conversation with Jo Rice because she said that she loves fritillaries and she loves passion flowers. Now, I can't draw them like a botanical, you know, somebody would draw them botanically. I draw them and they have to be quirky for me. So this is my take on my garden. So this is the fritillary. Fritillary, fritillaria, what am I talking about? The fritillaria and I love the way this came out. It just came out beautiful. Lots of text. And if I just turn this one over, you can see here, it says Fritillaria. It's got lovely text, again, broken up and shaded out. I just love snake's head Fritillarias. I've got quite a few in my garden and I had to have one in my release. But I just love the fact that it's got this broken up text in the background. For me, I love them little bits. Just found your Facebook Live, but had to do on my phone again. I'll watch it a bit later. No problem, Belinda. Hope you're well, Belinda. And I just love how this came out. I, I love, I draw them, but Chris, you should see me. It's just, so what they are, they're hand-drawn with some ephemera backgrounds. So I hand-draw this, and then there's some ephemera backgrounds as well. So there has to be that in there, because that's my style. That's what I like to stick to, stick to true to being to my style. This one is all, these are all hand drawn. And this was a nightmare because I drew it so big because I drew it huge on the screen. 
You see, I, I've got no concept to size. What I do is I just draw it the way I want to draw it. And then I have to fit it into a certain scale. So I do cause a few nightmares when I'm doing this. So this is the stamp. Let me see if I can take this plastic off. This is the stamp. And it looks beautiful going across like this. Like that. And when the flowers are 3D'd, it looks wonderful. I will show you a few samples. You're very welcome, Tracy. And then you can see the detail a bit better on samples. So let me tell you what the sentiment says. It says, best wishes today, tomorrow and always, hugs and kisses. Because I've got room to fit a few little sentiments in there because we like to fit in as much as possible, but without over cluttering it, if that makes sense. So them are my designs. I'm hoping that gave you a bit of insight. So what I'll do now, before I show you some samples quickly, I'll just show the giveaway again for those ladies and gentlemen that didn't see. And then we'll quickly get onto a project. So what we've got with the giveaway, the giveaway is a couple of A7 stamps. One is the limited edition stamp, mainly because I had one only left. And to be honest, this is the one from the counter. I haven't even asked Dabs, as you can see, it's the one from the counter because it's still got the code on. So that is part of the giveaway that, that, and it works beautifully with the other stamps. So that's part of the giveaway. And the other one is my background stamp. Again, obviously you'll get the new ones. They won't be inked by Tracy. So that's the second one. So you're getting, whoops. So you're getting those two stamps and then you're getting a piece of my artwork from a workshop. So piece of artwork that we did in a workshop with a little book hoping that it'll maybe give you a bit of inspiration even if it's just a little bit of inspiration so you'll get a little book and the idea was that this little book stood on this piece of art like this so you'll receive this artwork as well and then I thought to make it a little bit more interesting you win the canvases as well so you can create your own piece so you get the big canvas which I think, what size is that? That's 30 centimetres. This is 20 centimetres. So then you can either do two separate pieces or you can place one on top of the other like that. And then you've got an embroidery hoop. So that's all part of the giveaway. If you'd like to share the video, that's lovely. If not, that's lovely too. So that's the giveaway. Oh, and you're also receiving a little accordion book. What it is, so you know when you receive it is, it's a little book and you add the accordion inside the book so you can create what I created. And I've even put a little sweetie in as well. So then you can create exactly what I did or you can go off on your own tangent. So that's the little giveaway. We'll quickly go through samples and then if you still want to stay with me, we'll do a bit of a project. So let's have a look at some samples. I'm going to go through these really quickly so that I don't bore you and you'll see them on Facebook anyway so it's not like you've got to look at them for ages so oh thank you Carol and thank you for ordering the complete collection thank you to everybody that ordered anything from the shows from the stockists thank you very much so that's why I like to give something back so what I've got here is one sample that I created that's been on Facebook that is with the Fritillaria and it's a shame you can't feel the texture. It's a gel press background and this uses the Fritillaria and I love that stamp. I just love it. Is it a bit strange to really like your backgrounds? And I even made my own piece of tape out of tape. Just love it. So I'm not going to linger over these. I'm just going to give you some ideas, that's all. This is with the Passion Flower. And again, They'll all be seen on Facebook, so don't worry if you don't see them too much. But this one is for, um, with the border stamp. Uh, can't wait for our retreat. Oh yeah, have you got, have you got a retreat? Which Sharon have I missed now? I've missed some messages, I try to keep up. So this is the one with the passion flower. And that's what I was saying about 3D in the flowers. The flowers look lovely, 3D'd. I just think they look lovely and a couple of clips and again with the gel press background so I just love that one then we've got the one with the A5 stamp set so here we've got some wire 
with a um, brayed backdrop so oh thank you very much that's really kind of you thank you Dawn um, and that just and again this is all textural I love doing backgrounds I love doing backgrounds as well Anne but I think I think I'm very weird the way I just stroke my backgrounds I am slightly strange and this is one that I didn't take on to a chandy um, but I will show it on Facebook this shows the pen nibs just to show you how they work in bright colours so you're very welcome Sue it's the least I can do the very least I can do hi Jane hope you're well um, no sometimes I don't want to cover my backgrounds either Shelley I totally agree but I just love the pen nibs I just love them really love them so I'm just going through these a bit quicker because you haven't got loads of time and I don't want to take time from Olga either so this one is textural because it's got lots of painty inky backgrounds um, and this is really tactile it's got book pages it's got paint I love that and, and the pen nibs as you can tell is a real favorite I love that one yes I know you love doing backgrounds Lisa your backgrounds are gorgeous so I love I love how that one came out here's another pen nib background can you tell I liked the pen nibs but this time we used the border stamp to add some of that but this is what I was saying about your background appearing through the pen nibs the stenciling background appears through the pen nibs and I just love that one hi David hope you're well and and then there's a little the little safety uh, what's this called Tracy paper clip my brain's all mush this paper clip is so textural as well and I love how that one came out as well we did show that on her channel but for those ladies and gentlemen that didn't see it so that shows you that one and again a different version using the totally dotty stencil adding shading and again the background shows through those pen nibs I love how that one turned out just love them oh thanks for sharing James much appreciated I do appreciate you sharing and this one was as I explained on Hachandi when I was at Event City the lovely Hazel came to my stand and asked if I'd test on black card and I have to say I am hooked on black card opaque paints on black card are now going to become an addiction I just love them and the way the spotlight the white oh I just I have to say I'm loving that one it needs mounting obviously I need to mount it and add a few more bits but I'm glad you got me to test it on black card Hazel just love that then we've got our butterfly and this was a nice simple card but what you couldn't pick up in her chandy is the background texture sometimes you can't pick that up but there's a background texture from the gel press that was off the stamp so I just love that just love it the texture the no I've decided I'm weird I've just oh, James I think a watch party is where you invite your friends to watch along with you I wondered what a watch party was as well but I am useless with technology I mean me and technology are dangerous just speak to Olga she will tell you that this is the one that we created on the show and I'm going to finish this off by adding a few book pages maybe a vintage pen nib but that's what I like doing I like adding little bits and changing it up a little bit I love but that's you know that's what I like doing you love you know I love creating backgrounds and and doing them on her chanda that's the best bit for me and the sharing we're nearly at the end of the samples and then I'll ask if you want me to create something this is the canvas that we created obviously I gave the one away that I made this is the one that I took to remind me what we did I gave the other one away they are at a chanda to be posted so again that gel press background works wonderful can you tell I'm liking embroidery hoops as well I love how you all talk to each other as well we know you're weird thanks Jane I like being a bit weird it's just natural for me I think as I get older I'm going to get weirder I might even have purple hair because I'm allowed to as I get older so I just love how that came out this is the one that we did at, at, on the 5 p.m. show where we paired it all back and we just added some color I added a touch of stencil in here and a bit of the back and can you see that background stamp that a7 one that I added here 
I use that all the time, just in little bits. And it really lifts everything. I love it. Yes, purple. I'm going to have purple hair. <laughs> I love the butterfly. So, yes, please. Okay, we'll, we'll hurry it up a little bit. This is the one that you saw me create. This is my original. I gave the one away that I made on the show. I can fix you some purple. Oh, that's perfect, Olga. We need to be wearing some purple at my age now. Your creations are always well received. Oh, thank you, Pam. It's not something we take for granted, Pam, trust me. And this I added a little pen nib to with some wire. And it's, oh, there's a pen nib there stuck, look. Pen nib stuck in there. Because that's, cause, because I've unpacked. I unpacked, put it on my desk and it never went anywhere else. It has started raining heavily again here and I've lost sound and intermittent picture. We'll watch later. No problem, Anne, stay safe. And then what we've got here are the owls. We're coming up to the last two samples now. This was just on a painty background and it's very textural and gritty because I added lots of white to that one. This is the one that I created with Yanis, who was brilliant on the show. And again, we created that wood background, a piece of wood here. And I, I have to say, I'm going to use more of these wood pieces. I quite like these wood pieces. And this one is really textural. It's really nice and textural. So... That's with the owl and book pages that were created on the day. And then this is the craft along piece. This is the craft along piece that we created with the paintbrush. And we added some little, I love these little nail heads. It lo looks beautiful on the paintbrush. I love that. So we've, we've done enough waffling now. So it's entirely up to you. I can do a bit of creating or I can call it a day and leave it at that. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to do a bit of creating or call that a day? It's entirely up to you. Let me see how long I've been on. I've been on nearly 45 minutes. It's up to you. Would you like me to Would you like me to do a bit of creating or do you want me to save that for another no blender saying create with big explanation marks? Okay? And guess what? I've got no idea where it's going. What a surprise. So what we've got I've picked some bits, create. Okay, that's fine, no problem at all. Don't forget Olga's going live after me. So she will be on her Facebook page showing her release as well. So this is what I've got. I've got an embroidery hoop. Can you guess what that is? Can you guess? Well, as you know, I mean, this may be too much information, but I did pop the toilet for a wee just before the Facebook Live, and I spotted the toilet roll holder. Can you see it's the toilet roll holder? This is the toilet roll holder from the loo roll. And I, I like how it's got these codes on. Abby can wait for his tea. <laughs> Your hobby's not going to be happy with me, Ali. <laughs> Bless you all. So can you see these numbers on the toilet roll? I love that. So I I'm, I'm, I'm think I'm going to use that somehow. So we'll use that. And I've got this bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm thinking off the top of my head, I do apologise. There isn't enough hours in the day to prep everything within an inch of its life. There just isn't enough time. So this is off the cuff. So I hope you'll forgive me for working off the cuff. So I'm going to use this Samantha K um, wooden piece that I've just painted in Paper Artsy Honeydew paint. No, it's not sandpaper, it's toilet roll. Toilet roll holder. Can you see it? It's got the barcode on. It's just the loo roll holder. It was turned round and I've cut it in half. So it's just the toilet roll holder. And I just like how it's got that code on. I told you I was weird, didn't I? So what I'm going to do is I'm just making this a little less tacky. And what I'm thinking is, let me say there. I'm masking this off. Um, let me see if it comes off okay. So we don't, yes, it comes off okay. So I hope you can see that on camera. I've masked that off. There's not much room here, folks, I have to say. I've masked that off. Let me just make sure it's straight because my head's a bit scrambled and I'm not working at the best, to be honest. So I'm turning that on the side. 
nothing wasted in craftland i'm cutting up used shop bought christmas cut yeah why not no point wasting it now i have to check for toilet roll holders for numbers <laughs> i love how i get you doing strange things then it makes me feel normal because then you're as weird as i am so what i'm going to do is what i'm thinking i need to move these out of the way i've got this line here so I'm thinking I'm going to use the totally dotty stencil, but on its side. <laughs> Weird is fun. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is I'm adding the totally dotty stencil and I'm going to use Vintage Photo Distress Oxide inks. And you know I love my inks and paints. So I've painted it with Honeydew Fresco Finish Paint. Jeez, now I have to fight my daughter's hamster for the toilet roll. <laughs> That's it. I need to see how many of you go and hunt for the toilet roll holders and find the little barcode numbers on there. I can't wait to see how many of you find them. So what I'm doing is I'm getting off the side of the camera. I'm giving a good ink because I'm using a clean piece of cut and dry foam. This stencil's fab by abs. So I'm really giving a good inking. You really do need to give a good inking even more so because you're going on to a painted background. So as you know, you know me, I'm not going to hold anything in place. S sorry, mask it. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not going to hold my stencil in place with low tack tape. I'm just holding it. And because I've got a good layer of ink on this stencil, nope, no numbers on yours. Oh, obviously yours is different loo roll than mine. Doesn't matter, you can still use it for texture because it's, it's quite a nice sort of beige vintage brown but I like the fact mine's got numbers on what toilet roll I wonder what toilet roll oh it's Tesco's finest toilet roll own make own brand Tesco's finest own brand toilet roll oh my goodness I can't believe I'm telling people what toilet roll I'm using or that I went the toilet I'm telling you now there's no Facebook lives like mine we talk about loo roll toilet going for a wee it's just so embarrassing i know how to be professional so as you can see i've added a good layer of ink there i'm probably going to go over again i have to rummage in the resign <laughs> i'll get you all on my planet <laughs> i keep them all the time because they're really good tamers for things like your hair dryer oh very clever cease very clever so I'm going over with another layer of ink and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some ground espresso. So we're going to go over the edges with ground espresso. Just bring it in so you can see I'm inking the ground espresso. So just give that a good inking and then we're just going to go slightly over the edges just to give it some definition. Just over the edges of the circles. And at the moment, you can see the lines. We'll sort that out shortly. But you need to add layers of colour. You always make me smile. <laughs> That's because I'm slightly weird, Annie. It, you see, when you come on to Facebook, I make you feel slightly normal, you see. That's what it is. Because nobody's really on my planet. I, I'm on a different planet to most people. I really am. I think sometimes a chanda think I really have lost the plot. Because I get so excited over my makes. And if something works, I love it. So I've just moved my stencil there because I'm winging it. But hey-ho. So I'm just getting a bit more ink now. Now you'll upset Jo Rice. She likes to be clean. Proper lady. Yes, she is a lady. I've never been a lady. Jo's a lady. Well, she pretends to be a lady. She, she has got a dirty sense of humour. Trust me. She really has. So we're now just going to layer the same colours again not the ground espresso the vintage photo and the reason we're doing that is to get rid of the lines where i added that depth and then don't lift your stencil up check first oh yes we're quite liking that so see i go ooh, when i do a background oh bless you anna thank you i always worry about workshops i still get stressed over workshops what is that all this talk of lose now i desperately <laughs> Do you all need to go to the toilet now? <laughs> do 
yes you watch out for that sense of humor sharon she has got a, a, a you know a dirty sense of humor i know she looks ladylike on the outside but trust me she has and i like giving away all the secrets as well i didn't notice whether joe was watching <laughs> i like giving away people's secrets so there we go so let me just see where this goes up to let's just add just take it over a little go back over again now i've got to find the circles there we go no it isn't come on tracy see this is what happens when you wing it you want to add a bit of color over here like so that's better that's better so i'll worry about cleaning my stencil later I'm not bothered about that so let me just bring this down can you see that blend of colour? I hope you can. You're there, are you, Joe? I'm talking about you. <laughs> I've already talked about your tea bag moment. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. So I'm now going to remove this. Just so that I've got a touch of stenciling at the bottom. Just remove that. No idea where I'm going with my project. But guess what? It doesn't matter. I'm now going to use this stamp because I just love this faded out text here and it's just, mm, I like that. But what we can do, you see here, let's, to make it a cohesive design, oh, I haven't got my brayer. Hang on a second, hang on. Oh. One advantage of having a small room is that you can just reach over what I'm going to do is just take, it is a super stencil. I'm just now adding some of this paint, just a light coloured paint. Just spray it out lightly. And then I'm going to use my stamp and I'm going to pick the paint up with my stamp and then add it. Oh yes, in the background. I know you will understand me getting excited over simple little things, but that's just me all over. I will lift it up so you can see the background because I want it to be cohesive. And I'll lift this up for you. Can you see I've got tiny bits of, oh, you can see from that anyway. Keep that stand, keep that in the same place as I'm coming for it. <laughs> So I'm now just going to wipe up the paint off my stamp because I need to add a little bit of colour. So if you're using paint, always clean your stamps because that paint will get into the detail of the stamp. Let's just mop that up like so. Are you still, are you still all with me and not falling asleep? Stamp. <laughs> At first I thought it said stump, Annie. And I was trying to think what a stump was. But I'm glad you, you, you said stamp. I was beginning to wonder. So now, I just like to add them little touches, James, just because it just makes it more cohesive. So just, I mean, we're going, we want to use this stamp again, but this time with the brown. So I'm just getting rid of the paint in th that little detail area. So you don't want that to dry. So just get rid of the moisture off the stamp and this time I'm going to use vintage photo and I'm just going to bring this down and I'm going to use the stamp again in the background around here just to add touches of detail. Oh yes, we like this. I lo this is why I love these stamps because you can just add random touches to your background and I'm going to add five touches I will lift it up so you can see one two three four five yes so won't worry about cleaning that so what we've got so far is this okay so what even though some of it's going to be covered up I've stamped it so, and then I can easily add more stamping if I think that I'm going to let's just tear some of this just so it's got a torn edge like so just 
Hey, this is really good card, this is. Should be cooking dinner for my husband's bit. <gasps> for your husband's birthday, Erica. You should go and goo his dinner. I'm not going to be very popular at all if he, if he misses his dinner. That's better. So what I'm going to do now is just see what the pen nibs look like stamped on this. Just bear with me. I'm, try I'm trying to think off the cuff as well. So just bear with me. Yes, so we stamp that. So we're inking the pen nib stamp, like so. And again, as you know, I always say, give it a good inking, good patting, just to make sure you've got a good even coverage of ink. And then add the stamping. And I'm just hovering to decide where to put my stamp, that's it. And again, I will stand up a little bit because Abs also has numbers. See, I've missed your conversation. Hello from Belgium. Hello there. Welcome. So I'm standing up and probably shouting into the mic on the phone, which is what I really shouldn't do. I should lower my voice a little bit because my daughter always says that I shout. So I should lower my voice and just lift this up to make sure you get a good impression like so and can you see where the ridge of the toilet roll holder is can you see that there don't worry about that because we're going to put book pages over here so don't worry because this is for texture so stay with me where's my book i've lost my book pages now because i've just piled it all here there we go so what we're going to do now is stamp onto book pages. So what I've got here is I've got a locomotive um, book all about engine parts. And I'm just going to stamp the nibs on there because I want that background toilet roll piece for texture so that if I miss anything, so if I tear anything, I've still got the nibs in the background. So I'm now going to add this to my book pages, like so. Big bundle from a <laughs> You might just to have a play. Well, I know that, you know, we've got a couple of people coming in tomorrow and Tuesday to get everybody's orders out. So hopefully that won't be too long. I'm just conscious of keeping you. I don't want to keep you too long. Just getting a piece of paper to block my ink. Can you see that detail in them pen nibs? Fantastic. So just give that a blot, just to make sure there's not too much ink. You should see my floor. My floor looks absolutely disgusting. So I'm just tearing the nibs, like so. Just tear that. Like so. And what I'm hoping to do is remove this. Like so. So that it layers on there. Like so. Can you see that? I have to be careful which of my books I use. Uh, why is that, Joe? What kind of books have you got? <laughs> I like causing... I like, I like telling everybody about you, Joe. I collect old books for crafting with, and me, and I absolutely love old books. And if you get some of these car park books like that, look at the back of that. You could use that in the background. I love it. Absolutely love the background. Why do I always pick a, a um, glue up that doesn't work? I tested them as well. Let's just... Come on, Tracy. Let the glue work. I'm sorry if I'm shaking the camera because I've just got to get... That's better. I've just got to get my glue to work. There we go. So what we want now is we want to make sure, like so, that's perfect. You see, and I've still got a bit of number for my toilet roll holder because I'm slightly weird, but my toilet roll holder's still got the numbers on there, which is what I quite like as well. See, what, what I'm thinking is, you see, this will go here, like so. 
I might not use that. Let me just check. I might, I might not. But this is what you do when you're at home. So I'm just thinking I might put that there. You see, and eventually, where do you find the books? My charity shop doesn't have any. I've got um, like a vintage place, uh, Joe, uh, not far from where I am, and they just all sell loads of different books and everything. So I get it from there. And eBay, yes, eBay sometimes have some as well. So not 50 shades of grey. <laughs> so what I've got here is, can you see this? This is, let me see if I can, and I'm hoping I can get this to work. I've got so much stuff on my desk. There's nowhere to put anything so that you can actually see what I'm doing. This is vintage beeswax. Seth Apter's vintage beeswax. Now, I need to plug my heat tool in. And I'm going to heat this up. Let's see if I've got a pair of scissors because I haven't got one of them tools. Just ink my stamp up ready. And I'm hoping I can melt this beeswax. Yes, Dad feels for old books. I got my ledges there as well. Yep, yeah, me too, Chris. I love Dad Fields. We're lucky that we've got them so close. So we're really lucky. So I'm just inking my stamp up. And what I'm going to do is I'm hoping that this beeswax will melt. It's, a, it's not an ashtray, Olga. It's a, um, you know, when you eat your mince pies or your cakes, it's the metal container for the bottom of that algae. So I've just put, because I haven't got a melt pot, I've put it in there so that I can melt my embossing powder and I can pour it. But it does look like an ashtray because my mum used to have these. But yes, no, it's from a cake. So no ashtrays were involved in the making of this project. No brain cells were used in the making of this project either, I have to say. So I'm hoping that this melts quite quickly so that you're not sitting there talking to yourself for too long. So I'm just going to tip this up. Can you still see that on camera? Dad Fields is like a vintage village kind of thing near where I live. I live uh, between Crewe and Nantwich and it's there. So I'm hoping that this will melt quite quickly because I now feel like I'm having a hot sweat. It is boiling in here. But obviously I haven't got a melt pot. If you had a melt pot, you could melt this in your melt pot, have it already melted, ready for your Facebook Live, and then you'd be good to go. I don't have one. So I'm just melting this, which will hopefully get going and you, it won't be like watching. I like cake. I'd have never guessed that you like cake, Joe. Never guessed that in a million years. So hopefully, come on, come on. Yes, it's beginning to melt. You just have to be a bit patient. So sing amongst yourselves or go and nip and get a cake and a quick brew while Tracy overheats. Come on. It's all getting going. Cake and gin, exactly. What could be better, cake and gin? Planning a trip now. Oh, and it's worth a trip, definitely. It really is worth a trip. It is melting, folks, trust me. It'll get going really quickly in a minute. I'm so hot in here now. Right, hopefully it'll get going. But if you've got a melt pot, you see, this melts quite quickly. But this is the quickest way to do it if you're doing a Facebook Live. You've had your G&T already, Chris? Wow. I'm hoping you can see this on camera if I move this. National Trust Houses have second-hand books. Oh, do they? You're going to nip and look at your toilet rolls? Go on then, Anne, and let me know if you've got a little barcode on there. All nip to the toilet while I'm melting this. Gin fits to tonic as well. So can you see that I'm melting the vintage beeswax on my non-stick craft sheet? So I'm just melting just to give an extra texture. I promise I won't be much longer, Olga. I always just, because I was thinking off the cuff, I hadn't got any clue what I was doing, so I'm sorry I'm taking a bit longer. And I can't believe you've still stuck with me. Bless you all. So I'm now, can you see it melting or have I got my thing in the way? There you go, if I move it out of the way, can you see? And a port and lemon, Oh Val. Maltesers and a port and lemon. 
I think you're doing this to make me feel hungry. Yes, of course you are, James. This is my Facebook page. It's absolutely fine. Yes, I've got a workshop with James. Going to visit all the Scottish folk. Can you see? I'm still melting. Oh, I'm glad you can see, Belinda, because I keep putting my hand over it so that you can't see anything. This is what happens when you get a professional, you see. Look at that standing up now. Right, that will do. Let's move this out the way because it's boiling hot, a bit like me. Bring this in. And I obviously, I could have melted it here, but I melted, as, melted it as far away as possible because that's just great. Oh, are you, Mira? Oh, welcome. Oh, it'll be lovely to see you. Too bad I'm not a few thousand miles closer. Just a few thousands. Looks like caramel. Have you got food on the brain, Olga? It, but it does look like caramel. It looks like toffee. I'm melting it now. Because it was melted in that container, but when it was hitting my non-stick craft sheet, it was then cooling down. I'm looking forward to it as well, James. It'll be nice to visit Scotland as well. So hopefully this will be hot enough now. So then I'm going to add my pen nibs in the thick. Hopefully I've melted it enough. Just allow that to sit in there as a few moments. Also in South Yorkshire too, please. Do you have a link for your page, James? I'm presuming you can do that, James. I have had lots of requests for workshops. I need to update my diary, but you know what it's like. It's been constant here, so I'd still need to update my diary. So I'm just allowing that to cool before I lift it. And hopefully we've got a good impression because I could do with not melting it again. So we're hoping we've got a good impression. Just lifting this up, it's still quite hot. Can you see we've got it on the background of the stamp? So this is uh, Seth Aptor's beeswax. I'm just letting it cool down a bit because that is boiling hot. Hopefully it will peel away. Right, I don't know whether you see this, but I have got, let me get some wax. Bear with me, I'm leaning over again. Let me get some wax. So we can highlight that and then you can see it. Down south, yes, I definitely need to do some down south. I have been asked for down south. So let me just highlight. Oh, look at these. I love this. Whereabouts are you, hon? Oh, to Cheryl. You're replying to Cheryl. So hopefully Cheryl will respond. Look at this. Oh, I love it. I love them. I, so, I love that. That has come out really well. Took long enough to melt, but it's come out really well. But if you had a, a melt pot, you wouldn't have that problem. So what we'll do now is let's just get my finger in the black and just to look at that, just tone it down a bit, just so it looks more vintage. Like so. Wipe a bit of that off. That's better. It looks a little bit more vintage now. Does that show up on camera? Let's lift it up a bit into my grubby hands. Can you see that? And that just gives me another texture to my project. So we're just bringing the project. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to add this here. So we'll adhere this. Where's my glue gone? Just give this stamp this down hang on let me just see i'm sorry i'm talking to myself <laughs> not doing bad to say you were winging it lass <laughs> bless you shelly <laughs> so if i have that there and this i have to talk to myself i'm sorry you're gonna have to get used to me talking to myself so just that that there like so so that would like that and then this would go there. Hmm, yes. <laughs> I have to talk to myself. It's just, it goes in better. If I don't talk to myself, it doesn't go in. So we're just going to 
again this is just vintage book pages and what I've done is I've melted some beeswax over the top of the pe pages but I did this about I don't know three months ago so that's got beeswax on again as well so I'm then going to add this here like so but if I talk to myself it goes in better love these boards you're working on Tracy yes these are um, uh, Samantha K um, if you go on a website she's got she's got the boards on there plaques oh could I think what they were called then the plaques and they're quite nice to work on so just offset that because I don't you know I want it to look offset just hold this down a little bit and that proves as well that these stamps are frozen have I? I'm not frozen here <laughs> no I know what you mean Lynn the screen's frozen talk to yourself just don't answer yourself back as then the problems begin oh I've got problems then Sarah because I do that as well oh dear there's no hope for me is there so then I'm going to add this to my image yes I'm liking that but we need a thicker glue just bear with me thicker glue so I need an ultra thick gel medium because I'm adhering something that's a bit clumpy and I need to hurry up a bit just so that Olga can go live I'm going to add this to here where does the time go I just haven't got a clue just add that there like so and then just to echo this stamping I need to do something more it's back you did, Tracy did you ink the stamp before putting it in the hot beeswax on this occasion I did Belinda you don't need to but the reason I did is because I thought with it being the beeswax and the beeswax is quite dark when you've got loads of layers like this I added the black just in case it didn't show up enough but really I didn't need the black it still showed up when I used the wax so I didn't need to worry about that but yes sometimes also if you use a, an ink pad that lets it release easier it allows it to release so if you're ever worried about your stamps always put some ink on and then it'll release far easier you can use a sticky ink pad as well put your sticky ink pad on and then it'll release from the ultra thick or your beeswax a lot easier so that's why I did that what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my ground espresso and I'm just going to ink my stamp like so you're so good sticking with me you really are so I'm just going to ink up my stamp now I'm going to turn it on the side there's not much room here at all just give it a bit more inking like so and again it doesn't matter too much because I'm reiterating the book pages bit hopefully you can still see but I want to add a bit more ink my cat does <laughs> you're all as mad as me you lot are so I'm now going to add a bit of stamping here just to bring this focal image into the background just a little bit because I think that might be important just to make it a cohesive design for me personally I just think it will finish it off nicely there we go that's much better so what I'm going to do then because we've got one image two images I'm going to add a little bit here so I'm going to add a little bit of stamp in there I'm sorry if I'm shouting got to dash really enjoyed we'll catch the end bit okay James see you soon so I'm just going to add turn it round because I want to turn it to me I'm just going to add a bit of stamp in there because then I've got three lots of stamping if that makes sense so I'm then going to add this here like so stand up again because it's easier for me to get good leverage oh Sue it doesn't matter you can easily catch it on catch up so just like so I've kept you far longer than I wanted to I do apologize it's just that when I get going I just I get so engrossed so just and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 
the background stamp again and it whoops i'm dropping everything now in a darker tone here we'll finish soon because i can add little finishing touches later just to be fair to olga that's better much better just add a touch of stamping to the background just make sure that sticks down like so can you see where i'm going and what i'm going to do now go back to the book pages bring in the nibs i'm hoping you can see where i'm going oh bless you belinda thank you so i'm just going to ink this up again and just stamp on the book pages i'm trying to make it all a cohesive design and i really am thinking off the top of my head here so i want the first three like so just give that a good press there's no room to even lift me acrylic block now i've taken up that much stuff so we're just going to give that a lift hopefully yes we're there we go just block that again thing is when i'm doing a design i don't know about you i don't like to rush it so it looks a total mess i like it to look even if it's off the cuff i do like it to look like i've thought about what i'm doing i don't like projects that don't look like you've given it a bit of thought if it's worth doing it's worth giving it a bit of thought so what i'm thinking now let's just tear that do you talk to yourself when you're creating i always talk to myself that's better much better so then i can add that here nearly there just adding my adhesive and sometimes when you're getting engrossed in creating i forget about the camera i forget it's there and that i'm supposed to be in shot i am terrible there we go just add that there like so then what i'm thinking to some finishing touches so hopefully you can still see that i'm now going to give my embroidery hoop a color with distress oxide inks and it'll take the ink quite nicely because it's wooden and the oxide inks have got an opaque quality then it adheres to that quite nicely and still leaves some of the wood element so what i'm thinking now is see that you see i could do with not having that piece this is how i think aloud let me just actually bear with me a second i'm just going to break this like so that's it i just want it to look a bit more vintage sorry that's it just look like it's more more vintage i'm a bit fussy got to go you've stayed with me a long time everybody i'm nearly finished now i'm going to add this here or oh, i'll just do my finishing touches and then i can do them off camera i'm going to add this here i'm going to add some little just do the finishing touches and then you can leave just reaching over for my scissors I get so engrossed in the process. I do apologise for keeping you so long. Facebook Live really shouldn't be this long. So just add this little bit, this pen nib, like so. And what I'll do is, I'm either going to add this here or here what I'll do is I'll leave the finishing touches because what I can do is I can finish this off camera because I need to think about Olga. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the embroidery hoop here, like so. I'm going to add some vintage book pages. So we will have a little bit. Let's get this gardening bit just so you can see the finishing touches, like so. I'm going to just cut these up. Sometimes it takes longer than you think. Just take that off. 
and this is from a gardening book so I'm going to add this down here like so and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some delicate splatters so that I've got the delicate splatters of white paint I'll have white paint delicate splatters of brown I'll have some book pages here there and I'm going to add shading all the way around this square piece here so you at least get the idea at least we've had a little play and what I'll do is I'll finish it all off and then I'll put it on Facebook but it'll all be finished with depth lots more layers maybe a few more pen nibs here and a bit more book tape pages but I'm aware that Olga needs to go live so I don't want to spoil that so just to say thank you very much to everybody that shared thank you for joining me yes and a bit of wire as well Anna I'll probably mess around with it a bit um, I will still be making this four hours later <laughs> So I've got lots to do on it because for me it's blending the background so that it draws the eye in. I'll probably put some doodling round here so it'll all have lots more detail on. But at least we've had a little play, haven't we? We've had a little play together and we've done a couple of techniques. So that's the, the good thing. We've done a couple of techniques as well. So I'll show you the finished piece. Thank you very much for joining me. Olga's going live straight after this. Take care, everybody. Look after yourself and I'll see you all soon. Bye.